Form factor wise, they are actually the same. All the three flagship models a Super 35 sensor, full film 6K, and also full film 8K. Hello everyone here from the Zcam booth with Kinson Liu to show us everything around the camera, give us a full walkthrough, all the buttons, all the technical specifications that we can see from outside. So you can see this is um, similar to our standard U2. So this is the menu button. You can select your recording mode. Um, you can change your frame rate for VFR, for example, here. And here's the audio. The exposure, if you go into exposure, then you can set you know, the shutter angle or ISO. And then the white balance settings is all here. And for those who have autofocus lenses, then you might want to go into here to uh, set the focus settings. And here in the image, you may select you know, the different image profile. You know, we support, uh, uh, of course, you know, uh, Z-Log, our Z-Log 2. Uh, of course, you can also select to have direct uh, RED 709 output, but also for those who want HLG, or you may want to shoot in the flat, flat mode. Flat mode is actually 709, but with the C-Log um, dynamic range. And then you have the connection and some of the system uh, features here as well. Now let's take a look on the rear side of the Zcam E2. Here, this is the Wi-Fi antenna, so you can actually hook up your iPhone or Android phone, you know, with the Wi-Fi connectivity and to control and do live stream of the Zcam E2. This is the LJ45, the Ethernet port that I mentioned. This will allow you to do very nice uh, live streaming, IP, Ethernet direct into your computer. You see the USB? This is a USB-C port. You may either use this to connect to your iPhone or for those who actually prefer to record externally, you can connect an SSD through the USB port. This is our power. Power is a Nemo, a two-pin Nemo port. You can connect this Nemo to either an adapter or to a remount battery. But this socket is for Sony MPF battery. On this side, you can see there's an external power output. So there's a 12 volt power output here in case you want to supply the power to your external accessories, for example, your monitor. This is the remote. This is the LAN cable input. So you may use a LAN cable to uh, control uh, some of the simple setting of the camera. And this is a mini XLR for audio. And there are two external control ports that you may want to use to control some of the peripherals of the camera. And on this side of the camera, you can actually see F1, F2, F3 and F4, so four programmable buttons. And then the bottom one is our power on-off button. But if you short press the power button, it actually works as a playback function. And this side you have the audio, the, the mic, and also the, uh, the, the ear jack. Forgot to mention is also the internal CFast. This is the internal CFast cut slot. We have moved from the other side of the camera to this side. This is the major difference compared to our standard Zcam E2. Good. So, excellent. And thank you very much for showing us around.